In this video, here are some hadith proving Islam is not for black people. Stick around and find out more. Hello everyone and welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims spreading Christianity and exposing the deception of Islam. If you want to learn more, smash the subscribe button now. As usual, I'm your favorite host, Somali Prophet, and we're going to be talking about how Islam is the wrong religion for black people. So if you're a black Muslim, stick around, you'll learn a lot. Hadith Mishkat Volume 3, page 117 to 118. Abu Dada reported that the Holy Prophet said, Allah created Adam when he created him. Then he stroked his right shoulder and took out white race as they were seeds. He took out a black race as if they were coals. Then he said to those who were on his right side, towards paradise and I don't care. He said to those who were on his left shoulder, towards the fire and I don't care. With this hadith, we can see from the very beginning during creation that the attitude between fair-skinned and dark-skinned people were completely different. For the white race, they're treated and nurtured kindly, like seeds. But the black race is burned and useless like coals. It doesn't seem fair, even from the start, does it ladies and gentlemen? But what about the Judgment Day, you may ask me? Well, let's read. Hadith Tirmidhi 544-3187 the Messenger of Allah said, A beast will emerge from the earth. With it shall bear the ring of Suleiman and the staff of Musa. It, the beast, will brighten the face of the believer and stamp the nose of the disbeliever with the ring, such that, when the people gather to eat, it will be said to this one, O believer, and to that one, O disbeliever. The believer's face will be brightened as a reward for belief. Both in creation and on Judgment Day, you will be discriminated based on your skin color. Hadith Sayyid Bukhari 987-162 The Prophet said, I saw in a dream a black woman with unkempt hair going out of Medina and settling at Mahai. I interpreted that as a symbol of the epidemic sickness of Medina being transferred to Mahai, namely Al Jufa. In this Hadith, the Prophet had simply dreamt about a black woman minding her own business and interpreted this dream as a symbol of sickness. That is just wrong. Hadith Sayyid Bukhari 989-256 Allah's Apostle said, You should listen to and obey your ruler even if he was an Ethiopian black slave whose head looks like a raisin. Wow. As if the worst possible ruler is an Ethiopian slave. The entire attitude towards blackness in this religion is harmful and discriminatory. And as a black person, why would you want to follow a religion made specifically for Arabs? It doesn't make any sense to me. Not to mention that Muhammad also kept black slaves for himself. Remember, he said to those who are in his right side, towards paradise and I don't care. He said to those who are on his left shoulder, towards the fire and I don't care. Allah created black people just to send them to hell, specifically to send them to hell. So why follow this religion? Instead, come to Jesus, who is the only path to salvation. That's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you smash the subscribe button now and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Support us on PayPal and Patreon. Somali Prophet, out.